news to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. It feels a little like we won the lottery or the jackpot. Sarah, taking a look behind you, it's one of those slot machines when you pull it yep. and it's ding, 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 all 68 even yep. across the board. Three across there. Many okay. of us at 68 degrees right now, which is kind of crazy to think about because it's still early March. But hey, here we go. As we continue through the month of March, we have seen all days above average, which yes, has been quite enjoyable, but man, do we really need to see some of that rainfall. And as we get later into the week, the chances do increase, but more on that in a moment. So knowing that we can go outside guilt free and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful evening. Look at Mason City. I did want to point out that there's still some cloud cover to be seen. However, the sun is beaming down. No problem. Most of the clouds that we're seeing out of the city at the moment. And as I zoom things out, you can see a good portion of the region soaking up that sunshine as well. Let's zoom in, though. Take a closer peek closer to home. I mentioned Mason City showing the clouds, but most of that continues to move out. Places like Charles City still has a little bit of those thin clouds left. Give it some time. We're all going to have another spectacular sunset coming our way and one that we'll get to go outside and enjoy for the next several hours as these temperatures take their time to eventually begin to cool. Now, speaking of cooling, they are a little cooler than they were this time yesterday. Many of us were in the 70s around this time. Now we're at 68 in Rochester. We mentioned 68s across a good portion of the board. Mason City, Charles City, Albert Lee, Austin, Owatonna, a little cooler at 66. But all of us have taken a bit of a hit. There's a reason for that. The winds are no longer coming in from the warmer south. They're now coming in from the very slightly cooler north. If anything, that's just keeping us from getting into the 70s. However, we're very close to it. So get out there, take a walk, ride the bike. I think it is going to be a fantastic evening to do so, especially because we do get to enjoy this sunshine for the next several hours. Yeah, temperatures will go down by 6 p.m. still at 65 degrees. But just a reminder, it is what March 12th. So normally we'd be pretty cold around this time. Not today. Now Sky Tracker 3 shows the clouds that I mentioned ultimately moving out of the way. This is long after the sun has set though around 10 p.m. Still a very nice evening despite the winds coming in from the north. But then we start to see a little more moisture come our way and thus clouds building. This is 2 p.m. on Wednesday. So mostly cloudy skies there for our Wednesday. Equally beautiful when it comes to the temperatures. But as we get late into Wednesday, we start to see some green return to the map. And it's really Thursday we'll be keeping an eye out for our high chance for that rainfall. Maybe a tiny sprinkle or two on Saturday. Thursday is going to be the day though, so probably a good idea to stay indoors, especially if we really do see this much rain. We really need it, so it was nice to see some of that blue covering a good portion of our area. Places like Mason City, Charles City, Elma, seeing potentially over an inch of rainfall. There's still plenty of time for this to change, as well as this, believe it or not, bringing back the severe weather risk. Okay, not a ton of us looking at that risk, but places like Mason City, Charles City, could hear a few rumbles of thunder, and isolated severe storms are possible there in that green spot. All right, let's move over to the seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view so we can talk about the cool down coming our way. If you see that, Jess, there's some 30s on the seven day forecast. That's something we haven't had to deal with when it comes to our high temperatures in a while. One of them includes St. Patrick's Day, so we can't put away the coats quite yet. See, and I was trying to just ignore that. Just blind. That, and that's why I had to point it out because I got to remind you, that's my job. And that's why we love you. <laughs> but I just want to ignore it for now. Okay, I understand. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs>